Today we're going to show you how to create uh, to create menus to create menus using Microsoft Visual Basic, one of the programming package, and it is somehow you can need to have some knowledge about it, and it is not hard. It's very simple. You can see there's some already existing menus. As you can see there, we have those kind of menus. We have sub uh, menu. Uh, we have some menus in edit. And you have sub menu or sub sub menu of this for example you have the color you have this one for style you have the size and you have the face let's now go to data so that you can know how you can create this kind of a menus using my this program i'm gonna use this one for this one now let me just close that one now and now with that one now you can come here we have two options there means you can come to add-ins uh, you can come uh, to tools then you click menu editor that is one of the options you can just come here you click tools menu then you click menu editor that's one way to create or else you can either come here you right click here and you click menu editor you do the same that is how you now you end up having this and you can now create can start creating your own menu in this case and uh, name that is where you should start you can type a menu then you put a file once you put file then here you can come here you put now and file like that one this and it means the first letter which will be uh, uh, which will be closer to that letter it means it will be highlighted, it will be underlined, it means you will be used as one of the shortcuts to activate the menu. Uh, in this case, once you create like that one, you can just come here, then you click next. Once you click next, you can do a, you can first see how you can create those menus for that one. For example, you can click uh, this uh, positive, uh, this uh, move forward uh, to add. You can see here we have four dots those represent sub menu in this case i can come here i put now that is a new a new employee new employee there and now you can come here you put uh, you can come here you put new uh, employee here you can put space but here you don't put space now once you do away that one you can just come here and now you create a shortcut for for that one which is now control n for new you click uh, next automatically you add four dots for those are menu you can have, have a menu uh, open and now you can come here you put uh, you can come here you put and open uh, open more uh, then once you click open more there you can come here you click uh, what is control uh, this is a control off or open and now you can click you go for more click next we have save record so it means you can come here you click save uh, save record or update you can use one of them save record or update and you come here you type save uh, record so once you type like that one now you can come and proceed next and you click up here you put now another one for for example for print it means you can come here print you write print and now here you come you type a menu uh, print we have the, uh, the last one for that one you can just come here I put uh, exit so it means for exit I need to type a e and then I put exit the reason why I I put and as a center it means because the edit menu which you follow will start with E and you cannot put the two letters which are similar 
with and it means to give a confusion so it means to avoid that one just put uh, to the next letter exit come here I put for example my exit I can use um, control 4 for that print and save record I can just come here I put the same control s and this one I put control P for print. Also put like that one now. I come here, click next, and you remove that one. Also remove that one with this sign. I can come here, you put edit menu. We have this one, you can have a menu edit. And now you can come here, you put edit as you put edit there you can just come here you click next once you click next you still add the same and once you add that one now you can come here you put the relevant information for that so that you can proceed
you can see now we have we have certain now this one we have this one is a format we have the font and we have now the color so it means this a uh, sub menu with this sub uh, sub menu so you need to come here you just keep keep adding dots using this sign the moment you add four dots it remains it become a sub sub menu of the the, the previous one take note on that so in case for example the color now i put now we have the format we have the font and now we have the color and now i need to give the specific color that i want to work on it means i have click uh, i have to go to, to next then i add uh, more dots now it will be now 12 of dots and now i can come here i put a menu red and you have now red color there uh, then you click next automatically you are add you uh, those dots then now you can come here you put blue now you put blue color there you click next and now you put another one here for example green and here you put a menu we have any new green now now once you are like that one because now you are through because you can see this is a format you have the font now you have the color and now you have the specific color for that as you can see here it means i can click next and i have to reduce a little bit now to put now the other ones the other one here you need to deal with this now with the in the style so you have to put the style here then I put now the, the style itself here. As we put the style there, and come now, I click next, and I add once more. Now I can come, I put uh, this now for the style. Can come, I put bold, I put bold next. You put a menu, italic. And here you put italic. Next, you have other one for M and U underline. And here you put underline. Yeah, this is how you work on that one. Those are now the other style. And you can click next, subtract a little bit. And I put uh, M and U. We have the size here. We have size, and now after putting that, we click next and add about more sizes there. Whereby you can come here now, you work with those sizes you want. Example, a menu 12, you just put 12 next, you just put 16. Here, you put a menu 16 next you can put 20 and here i put a menu 20. once you work with those now you can still add and subtract with this one to put now we have this we have the face so it means here i can come here i put face and here i put a menu face now once you come you put like that like that one you can keep adding those uh, face and here font face represent now the for example calibri we have the another fonts which are still working very closely on that without no problem you can work with one of them
these are now the list of menus I have tried even to create now the main shortcut for those ones as you can see here we have this one for example if you want to add there you can still come here you add for example control b for bold uh, control i for italic and underline control u you can come you put those ones that you want there for example those ones can be presented like, like that one you can see now how we have created all those menus add their own some menus in all that list and as you can see here as i create is the file menu and it's sub sub menus we have the edit menu and you can see now the list of them there and now you can see we have the format and you have all those up to there then you click now okay once you click okay in any case you see like for example this one which is now can checked uh, you can come here you can remove that one checked and you click ok and uh, now you can see now our main menu here which is now uh, file menu we have edit menu there and you have font whereby you have the font color we have this style and you have size and you have the face in case you want to activate it, for example, you can come here, look, this is text one. It means I can come here, I click, then I need to come here, I put lead. So it means I need to come here. With this one now, I put text one dot uh, the four color is equals pb red. Enter. Uh, now we have uh, once I put like that one now I can come here for example I need another one for example text 10 uh, dot example 7 uh, dot 4 color Oh, for this one, you can maybe choose the for the background color, the back color. So it means I can just come here and put the back color for that one. It should be maybe red. Let's have work on those colors. And now, once you are through, you can close there and come here. You put now another one. For example, I need a blue. Come here. I put text. Text two dot uh, four color is equals a b uh, blue. I have text five. I'm taking them at random. For well, that you can understand how you can program those colors and make them workable without no problem and how you can make them workable without no problem vb present you should be color and now once you are through that one you can go to the to the other one which is now the style and you can put for example in bold so i can come and put text six eh? dot font bold uh, dot font bold is equals true enter text four dot font bold is equals true this is how I work with that one bold and you do the same to the italic and underline the same size you can come for example need 16 or 12 I need a come put example three dot font size and you can come and put uh, dwarf. I do the same now. I put text uh, seven dot uh, font size 
is equals to this is how we work with that one. Now we go to font. Face, for example, I need Algerian. And then here I need to come here. I put text eight. And we have dot um, font name. Let's go up to font name. Is equals in quotes uh, Algerian. Enter. Text one dot font name is equals in quotes Algerian. So we work with that one. And now that is how you go was that one and you end up getting those menu to be active in this case you need to make sure that uh, those ones they go inactive in that way uh, when you come to this one you require to use for example this then now you can put its own menu then for example if you have this uh, data link here for example it is data one you can come here now work with this file new now you can come and put data one uh, dot uh, we have the record uh, record set dot add new this is how you work on that one and you do the same to the next we have save you have data one dot record set dot update then you work with that one then you have print and come you type me dot uh, print form me represent the current form have exit just like unload download me this is how you work with menu and how you make them active so that any time now you want to work with that one you can work with that one without no any single problem and you end up saying that once you come to run now you can see your miners are active it means anytime you want to come here you can come here click uh, new employee you see everything is blank and now you can have even that one there and come here you put what you want as your own information for example uh, we have Jezebel uh, Marioka uh, Marik Dennis Now we have the employer pin where it is that one we have gender female we have the round number you can pull that one we have the department for that person who is now a receptionist and now the basic salary of that receptionist 23,500 can shillings and now once you get that one you can just come here you click uh, click here pay me and save record automatically you can see now that all the calculations have been made for that one and we have been a position to end up saving the record for that person automatically how are you going to see because this now for the Dennis you can just scroll here and see the record that you have already entered here it is here indicated everything even the date and the time it will have been processed so that now you can end up printing the please the the pay slip or you can enter a more new record that's how the main works and you can see here they are still working without no problem you can either come here click uh, save the record or you can exit or you can go for more in case you have for more you can come here in case you want to put 
red color you can see this one is red color and this one is um, the background is now red when you come to another one for example style i need to put bold you can see now this one is bolded and this one is bolded you can choose for example 16 the size uh, the top the size there and you can see this is too bigger in size and this one is still bigger in size and last but not least you can see the face whereby it's algerian whereby you can see this one have already changed now a different font for this that's how the menus work in a very simple and uh, easier way you can see if this one have been affected the font of this one and this font have been affected the one i have done just few of them without no problem and you can see how simple they are to make those ones without no easy of any program with that one now that's how the menu have been created in a very easier way continue subscribing for more tutorials and get more knowledge about uh, microsoft visual basic among other programs of information and communication technology we are there to guide you and give more knowledge about it 